Did you ever want to convert an iPhone Live Photo in Noir Exposure? Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how and it's a lot easier than you might think. First, when you want to take a photo, verify the small icon on the top right of the screen. This is where you can turn on or off the Live Photo. A slash to the Live Photo button means that the feature is off. Just tap the Live Photo button to turn it on. You take a Live Photo just like you do a normal photo. It's actually a photo with all the frame for one second and a half before and later. This is like you have a video of 3 seconds where you can select a frame and create a photo you want with it. Now we'll work on the Mac in the photo app, but you can do this in the photo app on your iPhone as well. Select the live photo you want with it. It say live at the upper left hand corner. If you move the pointer over it, it will play that video including sound. Next, I show you how to convert the photo as long exposure. On the top right of the photo app, click on edit. Next, you will see at the bottom left a button live. If you click on it, you will have the option for long exposure selected. This will process the video as long exposure. It will zoom a little bit because it will stabilize the video. Then it's going to take all the frame of the moving part, in this case the water, and it's going to create a long exposure photo. As you can see, you will lose some detail in the trees because they are moving. So what you get here is the equivalent of a long exposure, except you don't need a tripod. Everything else is Lies. and the running water part are using all the different frames to create the long exposure effect. Anything that was moving in the original live photo will now appear as a motion blur. Long exposure photo work best if you choose a scene that has some constant motion in it, like moving water or heavy traffic. If you're not using a tripod, it's really important to keep your camera sealed during the 3 second exposure time. Also, in the edit page, you have all the options to adjust the photo, and if you click on the live icon at the bottom and disable the live photo, it will convert the live photo as a regular photo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.